Well guys, it's finally time. It's finally time to say goodbye to the PlayStation Vita. To me, this is extremely sad because I love this thing and this was going to be a video on why I love this thing but now it's become somewhat of a dedication video to what is and probably always will be one of my favourite handhelds of all time. So without further ado, let's dedicate this bad boy. So guys, what was going to be me hooked on the Vita video, it has now become a dedication video. Because Sony have officially announced that this thing is officially getting discontinued next year. There will be no more games by Sony released on this machine. That's sad to me. That's sad to me because it was one of the last handheld consoles to really do what Nintendo weren't. And let's discuss why. Let's discuss why. Because the Vita to me is something that did something completely different at the time. It did something that not everybody could do. And trust Sony to bring that to the masses. They did it with the PSP and they did it with the Vita to get basically console quality games onto the Vita so that you could have that console experience out and about, which was brilliant. It was. But sadly, after a few years, Sony kind of dwindled on what they promised. And yeah, it, they just didn't carry on with that support, sadly. Then you've also got the remote play. The remote play, again, didn't really get the support it deserved, in my opinion. It just didn't quite pan out. I'm not sure why that is. Maybe Sony couldn't be bothered. Maybe Sony kind of, you know ran out of ideas for the remote play, I don't know. But it didn't reach its full potential, in my opinion. But however, the games that we did get did do the Vita justice. It, it did do that Vita justice, and I love the fact that they carried on with it up until kind of this point. Some of the games that I love in general are always going to be things like Final Fantasy X, which, again, can that's not an exclusive. That can be on PS3, PS4. You've also got shooters, which having two analog sticks help with the Vita. Kills on Mercenaries, which is a brilliant, brilliant game. It really is. If you don't have that game, go and get it. Uncharted Golden Abyss, which was my introduction to the Vita. It was literally my first game played. I loved every minute of it. It, it was my introduction to the Vita being something that you could play those handheld games that I'd play on my PS4 or PS3 on the go and it was brilliant. Then you have Assassin's Creed 3. Now the reason I picked this one last, it wasn't the best game, honestly. However, what it did do, it did, for all intensive purposes, right. The only thing I have a problem with this game is the fact that it had that much slowdown that it did really have an issue. But besides that, it was really, really good. It suffered from all the problems that every Assassin's Creed game has a problem with, like clipping against walls and sometimes going through those walls, but mm, it did what it needed to do. So, yeah, I mean, it was one of those consoles which really did try and do what Nintendo didn't. And as bad as that's going to sound like a bad Sega reference towards Nintendo, it did do it well. It, if it had the more support, it might have gone a little bit further, but sadly that support never came. And again, Sony have just decided at the moment to kind of abandon it, which is sad. It really is. Maybe some companies out there will still bring games to it, like companies like Limited Run. But we shall see. We shall see how that goes. But guys, it's dying. Sony have officially announced that they are killing the Vita off, and that's a really, really sad statement to me. It just... It's going to kind of settle on me in a bad way. So, as a dedication to the Vita, I want you to look at this montage right at the end of the video, because 
the Vita deserves it. The Vita deserves a PlayStation montage, as it were. Not just a Vita montage, but a PlayStation montage with a few of my favourite tracks from different PlayStation franchises. Because even though it's the youngest out of the PlayStation consoles, doesn't mean that it doesn't come from a dedicated history. So, for now guys, this has been me at GCT, and honestly guys, like, comment, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next video. Hope you enjoyed the montage, and honestly guys, here's my dedication.